What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Atelier Riser 2. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to efficiently and very very quickly Form an infinite number of gems. Now, gems is probably the most important resource in the game because it allows you to do a whole bunch of things. For example, you need gems to item rebuild, you need gems for essence refinement to use evolution link, and of course, the most important one, you need gems to duplicate items. Like, you know, like 99 crystal elements, for example, 76,000 uh, gems, well, 760,000 gems. So, quite a, quite a lot of gems needed, especially once you get to the late game. So, how do you get an infinite number of them? Well, very, very simply, actually. It's very similar to the method used in Atelier Riser 1, only it's a little bit more complicated and requires a little bit more setup in order to do. So let's just jump into it, shall we? So the first things you need to do are you need to have the Ether Engine recipe, the Cross Cartridge recipe, the Philosopher's Stone recipe, and the Ancient Philosopher's Stone recipe. Now, obviously, the Philosopher's Stone turns into the Ancient, the Ether Engine turns into the Philosopher's Stone, and the Cross Cartridge turns into the Ether Engine. Now, in order to make these first, you are going to need a few of the Ether Cores. Now, you will typically get these while going through the main game, typically from boss drops and things like that, or you can also get them from the Mystic Seed, which is the more preferred method, uh, especially as long as you have... Um, the gather rare material x l ability and then you know things like quantity up and things like that the reason for that is you can get some really high quality ones along with effect spread ones which there we go i've i have one thankfully so i can show that off uh, but yeah you can get them that way also you can actually buy them from a store however this store is located in the final area and you do also need to find all the research points to actually get that store to open so, once you have your Ether Engine, your Cross Cartridge, your Philosopher's Stone, and your Ancient Philosopher's Stone recipes, it's then time to actually make some. Now, when it comes to the Ether Engine, what you want to do first and foremost is to create this with Synth Quantity Plus 3. It doesn't matter about the quality, the value, the traits, or anything like that. The only thing that matters is the Synth Quantity. Likewise, do the same for the Cross Cartridge, and again, go for Synth Quantity. Nothing else matters here here. Uh, also, while uh, once you've made your cross cartridge, you want to duplicate it a whole bunch of times, ideally a full 99, because this is what we're going to be using to increase the quantity of ancient philosopher's stones. When it comes to the philosopher's stone itself, once again, you want to make this with a uh, synth quantity plus three. However, you should also aim for the effects red and element value and if you can try and give it the wind element it doesn't matter if you get the wind element and the effects red or not it's just something i prefer because i mean you know it unlocks basically everything here so once you have those three things duplicate a whole bunch of them uh, basically you'll need one philosopher's stone one ether engine and 10 cross cartridges per craft Ideally, though, you're going to make a whole bunch of them so that you never have to make them again, especially the cross cartridge. We're going to go through a ton of them. So now to start off, we're just going to go on to the ancient philosopher's stone. In the first slot, we're just going to dump a philosopher's stone. It doesn't matter what sort, like what it has or anything like that, as long as it's got synth quantity on. Ether engine, again, doesn't matter what it's on, it's as long as you've got synth quantity plus three. And then down here at the bottom, we have the cross cartridge. This is where we're going to just completely dump all of our cross cartridges just for the sim quantity plus three because it will stack every single time. And as you can see in the, well, as you did see in the top left there, we're going to end up with 36 Ancient Philosopher's Stones. Now, one thing to note here is if you look at the rank of the Ancient Philosopher's Stone at the moment, it's an S rank. Um, that can be improved or lowered depending on what traits you have, make sure you end up with an S rank Philosopher's Stone. And the reason for that is, if you only end up with an A rank, you're going to get 10,000 less gems per stone. So it's quite a big difference. 
Anyway, go ahead and make your philosopher's, uh, your ancient philosopher's stone. And now it's simply a case of repeating the process for as many times as you can. Remember, always save at least one philosopher's stone, one ether engine, and one cross cartridge, because it's really, really annoying having to remake them when you run out. Anyway, there are two quick uh, sympathies that I just did there, so let's go ahead and sort my items by date. And now we'll just go ahead and reduce all of these ancient philosopher's stones that we just made. And as you can see, like what? I mean, well, I was explaining that, so... I mean, that was two minutes or so, but if you're not explaining it, I mean, you could you could easily do this in about 20 seconds. And we just made 1.7 million gems. And much like Atelier Riser 1, the hard cap for gems is 9,999,999. And then once you end up getting down to your last, car uh, your last cross cartridge or your last ether engine, just go ahead and duplicate a whole bunch more of them and then just keep on repeating the process over and over and over again until you have as many gems as you want. Now, as I mentioned at the very start of this video, it does only take about five minutes to go from pretty much no gems to being completely maxed out. That's pretty much with me explaining things though. If you were to do this, like, if you just wanted to do this as quickly as possible, you would you would max out a lot quicker than five minutes for sure. Like, you'd probably only take about three minutes to hit the max cap. And then it's simply a case of repeating whenever your gem count gets a little low. Anyway though guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any more Atelier Riser guides. As always though everybody, thank you for watching and I will see you all soon.